Welcome to our policy committee meeting as the senior most member and the policy liaison. I'd like to open this meeting. Um, we'll start with election of committee chairperson. Can I have a nomination for chairperson? I'll nominate Michael Burke. Great. Any seconds? Sure. All in favor? That's unanimous. Mike Burke, you are the chair. All right. Thank you very much. Look forward to working with you guys and with the uh, board looking here at the uh, uh, agenda. I see the second item is discussion of statutory requirements. I didn't create the uh, agenda, so I didn't know uh, what the, you know, the nature uh, of this uh, of this point is. I guess I could say and also number three discussion and action on future meetings and dates uh, you know i i see the uh the role of uh, the policy committee is sort of twofold i think there are things that come up that come uh, across marge's desk that she hears from council in terms of things that need to be updated from a legal perspective that are vetted through our attorneys and then require uh, board action uh, i think that comes from uh, her desk also anything that the administration believes uh, requires a look, you know, see my expectation would it be uh, something that would be communication uh, from the district office. Uh, as relates to us as, uh, you know, board members, I think that anything that the uh, actual, the full board uh, commands us uh, to look at uh, goes on our desk. We are a committee of the board and uh, when, uh, our six colleagues say, oh, let's have a look at this or uh, that. I would expect that, you know, work, um, that would be work that this committee would undertake. Uh, you know, certainly uh, we can, you know, speak or advocate to the board that there are things that we want to look at, but I think it comes from the board or from Marge's desk to us uh, to begin the actual uh, work and that's my view. On the topic of what we do and when, I'm not sure which agenda item that maybe is under number two, and mm -hmm. that is the agenda we want to talk about meeting. I just want to clarify, because I wasn't sure, this whole idea when the policy from the meeting on Tuesday came up, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, um, that we don't have to meet, quote unquote, like the committee doesn't have to meet. So I want to just clarify, how we're going to handle that because I think we need to make it very clear and very transparent and I'm, I'm all for efficiency and we don't need to have meetings for the sake of having meetings but I think we need to define that role and I'm personally I'm very comfortable with Marge bringing through that first set of mm -hmm. policies that you mentioned I mean we heard curriculum bring through we didn't vet that curriculum right. meeting I'm fine if Marge if it's very perfunctory very statutory I don't need to meet for that Marge can just bring it Right. I don't think the chair needs to meet for that. Right. Marge no. can just bring it and, and work with Elliot and Tara on the agenda. Right. Yeah. If the committee is comfortable or the whole right. board is comfortable with something like that, or right. and your thoughts. Right. Right. So I could I could email the committee and tell you what the policy is and whether it's one of those things, and then you can make a decision about whether we have to meet to that. Work great. Right. Perfect. Perfect. That's great. I think yeah. And the, this one that we had last week was uh, you know at the uh, you know the FBI had wanted that. It put in place and so that kind of got uh that came through uh you know quickly but yeah i, I think uh, exactly it can come to march it can come to us because the reality is when it gets to the board level if there's something that someone sees that is a problem requires more discussion they could say hey you know what can do you guys meet and look at this or or whatnot but yeah oh, we, we don't require we look at it as a body right, right then and there mm -hmm. so yeah. i'm totally fine with sort of that as the base level of Marge emails the committee or Marge just brings it forward depending and we decide whether or not we want to have dialogue and right. probably not right. you know because right. it's right. statutory right okay Sounds good. all right uh public comment anyone okay uh um, we, oh I, I apologize I didn't know if there was a um well I guess the other thing I, I thought wasn't we want to talk about is sort of then the sort of the next level as to how do you want to go about bringing forth, so we have those things that are statutory or language prescribed, other issues that the administration brings forth, and then issues that maybe we find. Mm -hmm. um, should we just communicate with you that this is something that either from the community mm -hmm. we're hearing that we think should be brought forward? Right. That's, that's fine. I think it's, 
you know, I don't think it's within the purview of the committee, the committee to initiate work on its own, unless the three of us to say, hey, you know what, let's look at this particular section. I think if we feel that way, mm -hmm. I think that we go to the, you know, the board and say, you know, as a committee, you know, we wish to undertake, you know, this work. And then the, then the board can, and then the board can approve the work. I don't think that we just go on our own and say, all right, you know, the committee is going to look at all these things. I think we need to get approval from the board to say, yeah, you know what, start looking at that. Because again, we're, we're a committee of the board. Of the, yeah. of the board. Oh. Okay, but we've been vetted with that task already. So we've been constituted by Tara, the chair, to, to address policy. So I guess I would say it is our uh, prerogative to choose an issue, and if we want to discuss it, and then, I mean, well, we could work to obviously yeah. the entire I mean, board, but I don't think we need their approval to do work, because I think we as a committee are already constituted for that purpose. Yeah, see, I, we can see as the issues yeah. arise. I mean, we I mean, could, we I mean, could speak with them. The way we've handled own. it is as issues have arisen, we've addressed those policies at that time if they needed addressing imminently, or we did a oh, bunch totally. in the spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, this is also something we could discuss when we discuss our board goals and objectives this summer, sort of, if they're global issues. One of the things that Marge and I had the ambition of doing but we didn't do was to review what's online versus what's in our policy book. That's something we as a committee could start with, right, Marge? Just sort of double checking that we have, you know, sort of an accounting of our current policies, right? Yes, I do believe there like are a, policies that haven't been repealed that, that are online. Yes, so they, should they should be repealed. So that's something we could start with. We, um, it would, it, you know, the old book is very archaic. I'm sorry, so, so that's in the book that... So the old book we used to have versus oh, yeah, yeah. what's online. I, I think there are still some like 1977 policies which okay. basically are inactive that we don't, they don't <laughs> necessarily apply. We don't use, they're not on our website, but we still probably, we need to repeal them. There are, there's some busy work we could do just to clean up that's sort of the two, um, you know, the, the old book versus the website, um, right, which then, is something that Marge and I had on our to-do list. We never. Well, I, now yeah. that we got three of us, yes, so we can, we can totally do that. Make sure we all have the same version of the book, right. though. Yeah. <laughs> right. Or if we just keep them online and make sure that just have it all online. So online whatever is yes, yeah. that's basically what we need yeah, to the do. The policy book is hard only from past experience. It's board members change and they don't update and then that's why we went online okay so because how do you want to see us do this like how do you see that how are we actually going to do that well for things well, that, i think it's a good idea i just wanted like yeah, actually one I mean, of the I steps we're take a cleanup of the you know of the book i mean as a you know as a practical matter i don't have it sitting on my desk i just look and i see what's on online, online. that's what everyone so i i think then we that would be something that could, you know, if we got, you know, if we got copies of the book. March has a full, I think you Marge. have the, the book with Mike Cicchetti's, right. the, all those batch repeals we did. So we, we so maybe from, we'll go through and look at it and then, because you And then involved. pass it on to, yeah, right. so you pass it on sure. to us and right. we okay. can do it. Um, Are one we of going us. to meet or each take a section or... That's what I mean. I, mean, I, like let's actually, take, let's I don't take. even think you need to. We almost just need to create a catalog of policies that are in the book that aren't online is and essentially what we do. And then once we get that list, then we can go through them. But are we going to sit here each with a book and go page by page versus the I website? think we can do it at home. Yeah. Okay. No. Do we want each. I don't know how many. I mean, there's just that one. How many book books? Book. I'm going to look and see if I still have a book. Doesn't mean like how, but I mean, like how are we actually you, going to do it? So I don't have the book. Nadine has the book. Uh, everything that you batch repealed with Mike Cicchetti and everything that's sort of still in well, the Well, Krista, you and I, because Mike works, we can go sit in the conference room and you and I could do it to get, like, we could pull the computer up, take Nadine's book, and, you know, I'm happy to do that. Whatever. Or, or you, I, might, I might have the, or you book. Have the book. Could you, okay, maybe the first step is to yeah. find out what is the book <laughs> and email us, like, the title and everything. It's called Board of Ed Policies. Yeah. Is it dated? It's a binder. It's no. a binder. It's the binder. 
the one we had from Mike Chiquetti. It's oh, okay. from four years ago. Yep, yep. So I think I still have I mine. Still have it's just a binder. Okay, well, one, we and it was loose leaf. Nadine has a record of everything you batch repeal. Yes, but I'm not sure it's out of the binder. Right. So that's what we need okay. to make sure is that it's on the website. I mean, it's tedious. Or it's off the website. Right, that yeah, it's off right. the website or it's on the yeah, website. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that, yeah. Or if it's a relevant policy and it hasn't been updated to, since 77, we can have a list for shipment to review, right? Yep, right. yep. A list to repeal and a list, it's possible there are some that have been repealed that are still in the book and we can just get rid of them. So Perfect. it's just sort of, a, it's a housekeeping yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for example, Not that exciting. people always point to the civility policy, so I think that's still in effect. Right. But it's not on the website. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. we have to get that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. They cite it often. Oh, right. okay. So yeah, they're still in effect. If it's not on the, that the, doesn't mean it right. right. So right. it's just it's basically Mike Giacchetti sort of did, got us going, and then we just never finished. So okay. we just well, need to for transparency purposes, yep. it doesn't mean it's not in effect for no, people no, it's still, watching. We, it's still in effect. Policies are still in effect. We just have to streamline it so everything's on the website. Exactly. That's basically what we need to do. I think that's a... Uh, so that's our... And given your schedule, Chris and I can do, I mean, it's it's not hard to do, it just takes some time. And we can start, you know, I think we start with each series. We start with, you know, you start with the board, you start community, you know, we can do Right, sections. exactly, we work our, our yeah. way down. Mm -hmm. um, all right, that seems like a good yeah. good step. And that'll let us know. And then it, it also will help oh, you yeah. become familiar with all the policies. Um, the other thing, is just as a topic that I would like to address before we as a sort of a new topic is our athletic policy. And I think personally, I think it's important because if we're going to be doing a spring athletic that we've sort of talked about in general, I think it would be helpful for the board for we for that we have looked at the policy, see if it's updated, if it's relevant, if it's best practice. When you say athletic, are you talking the fundraising stuff? Like when you, cause Not necessarily, no. Because I don't know what athletic policies we really have. We have policies around behavior when you're on a team and consequences for mm -hmm. violating any school policies. We have the student activities manual, which addresses a lot of fundraising for athletics. But in terms of... Fundraising? Um, Let me relevant. No, no, no. I mean, that's a that's a good question. Those are the. I mean, I think, and that's probably something we can address when we do the athletics. Or okay. Or you want to have the board review it? I thought what it would be helpful is if we, as a committee, reviewed it first. So when the board sits and looks at athletics, we can have a recommendation as part of that larger conversation. Well, that's so that student activities accounting manual was born out of this policy committee. Like we worked on that. Right, 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 for right. a long time with Mike, um, and that was sort of given to us by Lynn at the time, and Mike Chiquetti took over revamping it. Um, and I would think that you know each of our colleagues in advance of that meeting would, as best practice, undertake their own review of the current policies and be ready to discuss or propose at that juncture, whatever that they might think is uh, you know, appropriate. I, I wouldn't expect, I mean, I think you know, for us to look at something there as the three of us and propose as a committee at that meeting is, uh, is a little switched around in my mind. I would rather have, I would rather have the uh, sense of the full board that there is a particular problem with a particular policy as a result of that discussion related to athletics, and then for us to, you know, dig down and and work on it because then we have the kind of the view and the input of of all after that meeting, and then if there's work to be undertaken related to that, then you know, then do that as opposed to coming into that discussion and say, oh, well, you know, the policy committee thinks this. Let's see what the full board has to say after we go to that meeting. And everyone should look at those policies before and then we can go to uh, we can go to uh, work. Okay. I was thinking of it almost from the other perspective that we can add value to that discussion if we've already gone through the policies that relate to athletics. 
again, we are sort of the research arm. Mm -hmm. I don't, I mean, that's, to me, that's why this committee is formed, so we don't have not, you know, all of us oh, looking mm -hmm. into policy, that the three of us can mm -hmm. say, these are the policies as it relates to athletics. This is what we have found. These are updated. We support these policies. We find, based upon our research of other districts, we feel we would like to modify these. As part of our discussion of athletics, what does the committee think? And then we put it back to the full board, of course, for their, I just don't, I think we're going to have a whole lot to do with this conversation mm -hmm. on athletics is going to be broad, that mm -hmm. we should um, help focus that piece of it, which is policy and looking yeah. at, like, I, looking I'm, at I still am not uh, honestly 100% sure what the point of the athletics meeting is, and I think that's something the board has to figure, like, we have to, Fair, to okay. your point, yeah. like, figure out what is it we're discussing, because we have a lot of, um, there have been a lot of ideas thrown out and that I think we need to narrow that down. But just historically, the way Marge and I have done it, for like, so you're taking athletics, um, it could be anything. Mm -hmm. But when something has come up, we have talked with Gwen at Shipman and basically said, what's best practice in this area? Because right. she's the expert. We don't know. Like, in terms of, I want to be really careful that we don't start dictating policy. That's not our expertise we know the school district we can bring things forward we can do some research but trusting the experts in terms of what is the best practice for a school district around athletic policies and that really lies with marge and gwen sort of telling us and then we can bring policies forward and vet them like the rest of the board does but i think that you have to um i think we have to be careful about about you know, getting too in the weeds with the policies. No, I think that's an. I definitely right. think that's important. I think I yeah. think it's fair that we. Again, I'd like to look at other districts, mm -hmm. to see, can we? Um, is there something we should be putting in? And, and that's I don't what Gwen is really good at because she does read she, the other districts. She does. All, she does most of the <laughs> districts. You would yes. So they, um, her expertise. She she knows her stuff. Okay, just for clarification, Gwen, Gwen is... Gwen is at Chipman and Goodwin, okay. and she is our um, liaison for policy work. She is okay. our lawyer that we use for policy work. And that's what she does. It's her bread and butter. Okay, and, um, perfect. Um, she is... She knows best practice in these areas. Um, right? Yeah. So All that's... Right. Um, and then what about just our board policy? Those are So those are the areas that relate just to us. I mean, obviously... Um, is this something, I mean, we want to go through to take a look? I mean, committees, this policy is 11 years old. Is it? I mean, I'm that's sorry, a, this you're is referring the, to the policy? Policy on, on committees. On committees? Just, <laughs> I'm just picking one because obviously it's relevant to, the, right. to this meeting. Um, is this, I'm sure there's something that legally is changing this because it would have been flagged by Shipman, mm -hmm. but is this still the way has this board, has this, the other concern I have is it may be legally fine, but as Darianne has evolved, as our board has looked at things differently, again, our athletic, or now a small college, does our policy reflect that? Legally it might, but does it also in practice reflect that? For committees, is this in 11 years, is this still how we as a Darianne community and board operate? We could say yes or no, but mm -hmm. I think because the the board section of policies is also that's our like that's the stuff we own that's independent of the administration for the most part. Um, that was another thing I thought we could just sort of take a look at. Um, well, we I mean you know. I mean, we we own, stuff is not ours. Just nine thousand. I mean we own we own all the policies, but Correct. as a practical matter, you know does you know. Where does our, I mean, the overall question you're really asking is where does our work come? And I feel that our work comes from, from her desk or from the, you know, the full board where we could go as a committee or individuals can advocate and say, I, you know, I'd like the board to look at, you know, this X, Y, and Z. You know, we have a, you know, hopefully we'll have a new superintendent. Maybe mm -hmm. it's appropriate to look at those sections related to his or her evaluation. Because maybe when these, someone, one of these candidates, and you're on right. that committee, you know, maybe a, a question that a candidate's going to ask is, all right, well, how do I get uh, evaluated every year? And have we looked at that to see that yeah, it's no, precise? So, I, but I think example. those are things that come, you know, we, we discuss, 
you know, uh, from the board that commits our work, but for the things that come from Marge's desk, which are, you know, ministerial and function to comply with legal uh, changes, et cetera, and they're one, they're watching that. Or if the administration thinks that there's some any policy totally. no, that no, 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 needs right. change because they're operating the schools on a daily basis. No, I, I definitely want to differentiate do. between yeah. those policies that have a direct impact on students or direct impact on the operations. I think those, for the most part, unless we're hearing a lot of. Mm -hmm. Should be coming from the administration. Right. I still think I still think it's our purview that we can bring policy forward to the to the overall board. But you feel it goes the other way. I, I really do. I've never been on a committee. I've never been on a standing, you know, committee that, in terms of real policy change, sits and proposes to the full board on its own initiative. I've been on committees where the, the full board says, okay, you know what, do this work, look at this, make a proposal, or or not, right, but not right. that, hey, you know what, here's, you know, here's right. the no, policy. I, I got from the it. board, like for facilities yeah. and everything, and it came from the board to the facilities community, right. committee. But we see, um, like Hartford right now, the education committee's you know, vetting those issues. I mean, just an example. So it's well. the education committee who is going to bring forward their recommendation. Um, and right. that is one example. Well, I guess maybe I'll see it as a two-way street. I don't okay. think it's, I don't think we should be completely beholden upon the full board because they're sort of, as I saw, I trust that committee. They've already delegated us that responsibility. So that's why I feel I'm not relying upon everybody else just as, I rely upon the budget committee to investigate those issues. I don't do that same s amount of work, per mm -hmm. se, because I'm expecting them to dive into the weeds that I then take their recommendation or... Right. It can go both ways, right. of course. Because the budget part, committee part of this. has part of its standing procedure when there's a budget, when their budget transfers, they go before the, you know, they go True. before uh, that committee but in terms of the overall budget, we do the, we do the budget on back as a as a full as a full group. But the transfers are business that comes up, yes. that they do, and then they, the administration right, then that comes up, or even facilities like there. You know, we have worked on that. Well, I would then. How would you? If I'd like to see us look at the board policies, how do we facilitate that then? I would think if there's a specific, you know, policy that you want to. Uh, look at like any member on the board you could you could come you know we can talk about it we don't have to talk about it in a in a meeting necessarily but you could communicate to us hey you know what I I think that the committee should look at you know you know this policy we bring it you know we ha have it on an agenda as a quick discussion item at a full board meeting and saying that, you know you know I you know Krista or the three of us or even Denny's, and I'd like the, you know, the uh, the board, uh, the committee to look at this. You know, we, uh, you know, we voted on it as, a, you know, as a board. Then that's our work, and then we go to it. Okay. Then I, I'd like to put forward that we're going to put look through the board committees, the policies, like the board, all the series nine thousand. Correct, series nine thousand to policies. see if they are legally up to date. Ms our best practice up to date and reflect the operations of Darien and how we do business. My, well, my expectation would be that they are legally up to date. Or okay, else no, no, I'm assuming it that. Further, but the other things. Well, I, I'm give. assuming. Right, you, I'll, I'll cross check shit. No, well, I mean, I'm assuming. Right, right. 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 I yeah, assume no. right. they are. Right. I just, I'm just saying that as a. Right. Mentioning it, but I would assume yes. But as they, again, 11 years old, is it still the way? We think we should be operating, and this is Absolutely. us. Like this, right. we kind of own. So, in 11 years, has anything changed? We might say no, or we, as a subcommittee, can say no. We're comfortable, and we're going to recommend that nothing changes. Um, I just think 11 years is probably a fair time to take a look at some things, mm -hmm. um, and then we attack, you know, 1,000, you know, through 6,000 as they 
come up because these this is really not our like to me we are the overview committee for that we the board but to me the the law that or the generate, administration that's generated from yeah the exactly the attorneys the state and the um, administration have to sort of drive these we own right this has to do with how we work okay good question right yeah. that's a good point again these were all 11 years old almost 10 11 years old Pretty basic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, that might be fine. We might be very happy with that. Again, as I see this unfolding, is like, as I would have envisioned it, we each sort of take an area, we read through it, we cross check their dirks, see what do their policies say, we run it by March, make sure the attorneys agree with it, we throw it to the full committee, done, update. I just think at some point we have to start again administratively to make sure the website for transparency's sake but I'd also like to make sure that or, or do we have a guideline maybe we make a policy that we look at our policies every 10 years I don't know I, I mean I'm just throwing right. ideas oh, out yeah. Right. <laughs> no. okay and that could be put in we could amend that to say and we'll strive we'll do best efforts to update every 10 years I don't know whatever number all right Good start, good awesome. thoughts. Again, good. lack of public comment. Do we want to look at our meeting? That was our third agenda item. Our next scheduled meeting? Yeah. Or, or we, we, I think the agenda said meeting dates. Well, I, you know, I felt like, well, that's going to be, you know, dictated without any, you know, present proposal to amend or change a particular policy. Well, I've I don't already really asked for this, so how do you want to handle us going through this? I mean, that you can take this sort of, sort of a formal request. All right. Um, why don't you make the, why don't you make the request, make the request, you know, via email, to us, and then I can look at it, and I could figure out a schedule or when it would be appropriate to me. I don't want to just say this is going to be our next, uh, you know, our next meeting, uh, you know, meeting date. I mean, our meetings are going to be Thank done you. as, you know, as uh, our work, you know, dictates. Okay. Um, well, I. I'm not trying to, do I need to email you? I've just told you. I, yes, I would, I would prefer, yeah, email. Okay. Okay. So, um, okay. And just to confirm, just as, if there's any other. Okay. All right, I move to adjourn.